If I was not famous, this would not be happening. If I wore a dress, this would not be happening. If I had taken that sponsorship deal for $50 million and did not mention the genocide in Gaza, this would not be happening. All right, so we will get into what Andrew Tate has to say in a second. He gives us a warning about his arrest the other day, what this means for all of us men out here, what this means for everyone, not just men. The fact that governments will go to this length to silence someone just for speaking their truth or giving their opinion, um, what that means for all of us. For those of you that don't know, these two men right here were thrown into jail in Romania, but by the United Kingdom, a completely different country, because of a sexual assault allegation that happened in the United Kingdom by a woman that is remained nameless. Nobody knows her identity. Apparently it happened 10 years ago. There's no location given or specifications in what actually happened. Just an allegation by some random woman that might not even exist because no one knows her name. It happened in the United Kingdom and the United Kingdom sent this over to Romania to arrest these two men. I don't know how that's legal in any way. But they spent the night in jail and thankfully a Romanian judge uh, cleared them because it just doesn't, it's not legal. It doesn't make any sense for that to happen. It's really, truly crazy that this was able to be done by the United Kingdom. I mean, I don't know who is orchestrating all this. I don't know if it's a singular person, if it's a group of people, if it's a government, if it's a freaking, you know, a big media company or whatever. But the fact that these people or this person is this annoyed and pissed off by Andrew and Tristan Tate is really unbelievable that they are able or willing to go to this length to throw these two men in jail for what really like honestly for what because they tell men to work out and speak their minds or because they said John Cena's in a satanic cult because he wore a dress on the Oscars I mean that warrants them to be thrown in jail I mean come on dude people that support this you know type of action against the Tate brothers are are really just I don't even know. I don't, I'm not even getting into it because it kind of frustrates me, but I, I truly just do not understand how you could support a government going to this length to silence somebody who really isn't that bad of a person. I mean, give me a break here, people. You may not like him. He may annoy you or aggravate you, but to support a government that is willing to do something like this to anybody, whether you like them or not, is just, is just insane, man. So Andrew Tate gives us his warning here about what this means. What does this truly mean? Why are they attacking him? And what he says here is very, very important. So let's get into it. If I was not famous, this would not be happening. If I wore a dress, this would not be happening. If I had taken that sponsorship deal for $50 million and did not mention the genocide in Gaza, this would not be happening. If I would have shut up after the first Matrix attack, the cancellation, this would not be happening. If I would have shut up after the first Matrix attack when they put me in jail here in Romania, this would not be happening. This is happening because I am a beacon of truth in a world of lies, which proves it has nothing to do with justice, has nothing to do with right and wrong, nothing to do with girls who even exist or events that even happened. It is a punishment. It is a punishment against anybody who stands up against the system because their goal is to break me to scare you. They want to chop off the head of the snake. If they can show all of you people at home what happens when you tell the truth, you're going to be less inclined to tell the truth. They want to destroy the bravery inside of your soul by destroying my life. That's what they want to do. They want to kill the general so all the troops behind him suffer cowardice. That is why they're attacking us because they want to show everyone at home that no, you can't just stand up and tell the truth. You will pay a price for that. And that's why they're trying so hard to decimate and destroy our lives. Because we are inspiring you to say the things you know are true in your heart. These people are trying their very best to enslave all of us. And you start that. The number one way you begin the enslavement of a population is inspiring cowardice amongst its warriors. Once that is done, there is no resistance left. None. And that is why they want us to pay the price. When I went back in that cell yesterday, I looked around. I said, hello, darkness, my old friend. My first words. And I didn't think I was going to get out for yeah, years. I was fully prepared because I understood the nature of the attack. I was fully prepared for one month, two month, five month, a never ending perma jail sentence. Because I, I knew I smelt immediately what was going to happen. And a judge was selected. And luckily for me, a just, prudent judge was selected, she saw through this, and said no. No. God bless that lady. It's good to hear that there are people in positions of power that aren't just 
as crazy as the people that are willing to bend the rules and do something illegal like this, you know? Thank God there's a judge that was like able to be like, you know what, this this is illegal, so I'm not going to support this because it really could have just went the other way where whoever made this case possible in the United Kingdom, you know, could have had a judge that they wanted there that was also corrupt and they could have thrown these guys in jail and it could have been like a whole mess of a situation, man. So thank God there are people in power that are um, actually intelligent and not completely corrupt. And, you know, the biggest thing that Andrew Tate said, I mean, this is the reason they're doing this to him is to scare all of us. Right. I think that's a really powerful message there. They are trying to make an example out of him and his brother because they are people who speak out against the system, whether you agree with them or not. They're, you know, they speak out against the system and against Hollywood and against what they believe is, you know, uh, fake or or evil or whatever. They doesn't it, whether they're true or not. They're speaking out against a, a system and they're being completely tortured and punished because of it and the reason they're being punished is because they don't want anyone like me or you to to follow in the footsteps of andrew tate and tristan tate they don't want more people speaking out against bohemian grove like ryan garcia was even though that was kind of crazy they don't want any more joe rogan's they don't want any more alex jones they don't want any more donald trump they don't want any more of these people on the internet that are that are speaking out against the system so what they do is they make an example out of him but I just hope that there's people out there, and it seems like there's a lot a lot of people out there that obviously support Andrew and Tristan Tate. We're not living in a world yet where everyone is completely insane, like Hassan Abi, that loser streamer. So I hope that uh, I hope his message continues to get across to people, and I hope that people are able to see just the absolute corruption of these governments and, and what they're doing is it cannot be supported because it's going to come for all of us. Not just You may not be Andrew Tate and you think it doesn't affect you, but it does affect you and it will affect you at some point. So shout out to these guys. I will see you in the next video. I'll probably have a little comedy video in the next one. We'll go over a comedy podcast and that will be released later today or tomorrow. I will see you in the next video. Appreciate you watching. Peace.